Very good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime News on TV1 coming to you live and direct from the News Fair studios here in Colombo. We've got the latest of news here at home and across the globe lined up for you. But first, a look at your top stories this afternoon. Party leaders meeting convene in Parliament. SLTB employees in Northern Province on strike. Body of Norwegian who drowned at seas washed ashore. Police arrest 460 drunk drivers from Colombo on the 31st of December. Pujara and Pant lift India to a mammoth first inning score in the fourth test against Australia. In your top story this afternoon, the first party leaders meeting for this year will be held today. The discussions among the party leaders at the meeting chaired by Speaker Karu Surya will focus on the presenting of the budget for the new year and setting a date for this. And the agenda for the parliamentary session on the 8th of this month will also be prepared at the party leaders meeting. In more local news, the Sri Lanka Transport Board says that employees attached to seven depots in five districts of the northern province have launched a strike. The employees on strike demand the removal of the northern provincial manager of the SLTB. According to our correspondent, employees of bus depots in Jaffna, Karinagar, Vavnia, Mana, Mulaitiv and Kilinochi are staging this strike. The protesters allege that the northern provincial manager of the SLTB has illegally acquired certain administrative functions of SLTB employees and are treating its employees unfairly. The employees on strike noted that all bus services except long-distance buses travelling at night have been halted due to the strike action. SLTB Chief Operations Superintendent PHR Trichandrasiri said the Northern Provincial Manager of the SLTB has been temporarily suspended pending investigations. He added that discussions on appointing a new manager for the region will begin on Monday. And some tragic news this afternoon, a Norwegian national drowned while bathing in the seas of Kaparathota in Veligama. Five Norwegian nationals had gone to bathe in the seas of Kaparathota in Veligama yesterday. One of them were caught in the current and was washed away. Search operations conducted yesterday were unsuccessful. The body of the victim washed ashore at the Kaparathota fishing port last evening. The disease was identified as Wicca Nigel, a 23-year-old Norwegian. Bellingham police are conducting further investigations. The filling up of the Singapore tank has hindered the work of farmers in the Velikanda Divisional Secretariat in Polonarua. The Singapore tank was a main source of water for agriculture in the area. However, currently the excessive growth of aquatic plants and silt have filled up the weather. Although the water supplied from the Singapore tank could have nourished 75 acres of farmlands, today a lack of water in the area have adversely affected the farmers. While officials have been repeatedly informed of the state of the tank and requested to repair it, the request seemed to have fallen on deaf ears. All that these farmers ask for is of the tank to be renovated so that they can continue farming on which their livelihoods depend on. A group of Sri Lankan employees working on the Kalu River project in Lagala have launched a strike. The employees are attached to a Chinese subcontractor company handling the project. Close to 150 employees staged the protest at the site of the Kalu River project in Lagala last evening after the company they work for decided to slash all their allowances from the month of January. The employees were protesting against this decision which included slashing of the allowance of 300 rupees paid after 20 days of work a month and additional payments made for work done on local public holidays. The Lagala police were called to the site of the protest. No consensus was reached although discussions were held with the representative of the company and the protesters. A thief captured while robbing a house in Unavatuna Buttalamunaragala was handed over to police by area residents. <laughs> Reports suggest the suspect was a member of a group that robbed a number of houses in Unavatuna Buttala Monaragala. An accomplice of the captured suspect had fled the scene. 
The suspect, currently in custody of the Butala police, is due to be produced before the Vallavaya Magistrates Court today. 470 people driving under the influence of alcohol were arrested in the Colombo Police Division alone following a special operation conducted on the 31st of December. Police media spokesperson SP Ruan Gunasekar said 2,236 drivers who disobeyed traffic laws were also arrested. Law has been imposed on 198 individuals for driving in a dangerous manner. Police further said the reported accidents have decreased after the increase of special operations by the police. Only three accidents were reported on the 31st of December. Wildlife officers in Vilpatu arrested a group of poachers who are suspected to have killed leopards in the area. The animals were murdered for their teeth. The poachers were arrested based on a tip-off received. Operations that led to their arrest were conducted over several days. The raid was led by the Assistant Wildlife Protection Director, GMHD Vendakadua. According to the wildlife officers, two of the four suspected poachers had fled the scene. Leopard teeth were found inside a bag belonging to the suspect. Leopard teeth are used to craft expensive jewellery. The suspects are residents of Yaya 10. While search operations are currently underway to arrest the two suspects who fled, the arrested suspects are due to be produced before the Tambute Gama Magistrates Court. Meanwhile, a suspect in possession of a Galkatas weapon which fires T-56 bullets was arrested in Paragastota, Bandaragama. The arrest was made based on a tip-off received by the Millennia Police. Five T-56 bullets were also seized. The 31-year-old suspect is due to be produced before the Horana Magistrates Court. Two people sustained severe injuries in an accident that took place at Marthale Junction along the Anuradhapura Dambulla main road. Police said the accident occurred when a three-wheeler travelling from Anuradhapura to Dambulla veered off the road and collided with a traffic post and then fell into a drainage. The cause of the accident was speeding. <laughs> The injured are currently receiving treatment at the Anuradhapura Teaching Hospital. 